You are watching Beyond Walk and Talk TV. Good evening, everyone. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Oh, there's a new day. Good morning. Thank you for waiting and we're sorry for the delay. It's okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Welcome all the distinguished guests, international reporters, media agency to attend the press conference after the crowning moment of Miss Cosmo 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, we have witnessed a spectacular grand finale night of the, so mid, the first Miss Cosmo in Vietnam and I do believe that we all enjoy the show despite many obstacles and challenges the Miss Cosmo organization has made a miracle to bring a successful grand finale night to all the audiences from all around the world. And let's give it up for the organizing committee. Let me introduce Mr. Chung Ngoc Nhật, Head of Steering Committee. <laughs> Mr. Chung Viet Bảo Hoàng, CEO of Miss Cosmo, Head of the Organizing Committee. And furthermore, we have to give the greatest congratulations to the top two of Miss Cosmo 2024. They have impactful beauty and Cosmo spirit to advise all the jury and all the audiences. And let me introduce Ketut Pomanza Julia Street, Miss Cosmo 2024. The runner-up of Miss Cosmo 2024, Mook Karatai Tabahook. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we also appreciate the presence of more than 100 media agencies and press reporters from across the world. Okay, please give it up for all of us. And I know right now we have a lot of questions from the top two and the organizing committee. So please feel free to raise your hand and our organizers will give you the micro and in case that you don't speak English, just speak Vietnamese and we will have the translator help you. Quý anh chị thân mến, ngay bây giờ thì chúng ta sẽ có thời gian để giao lưu và chia sẻ với ban tổ chức cũng như là top 2 của Miss Cosmo 2024. Và quý anh chị đừng lo lắng bởi vì chúng tôi có đội ngũ ban tổ chức cũng như là translator sẵn sàng hỗ trợ các anh chị để chúng ta có thể thoải mái hỏi và truyền đạt ý kiến của mình ở bất cứ ngôn ngữ nào quý vị nha. Dạ rồi và bây giờ thì xin mời câu hỏi đầu tiên ạ. Ok, I see the first hands over there. You please. Okay, let me help you with that. Uh, first of all, uh, congratulations to the top two. You are all well deserving from the very first day. Congratulations. And I would like to congratulate on the organizing. You have done an amazing job. Even though we have a lot of difficulties, so admire to you. Um, my name is Wang and I'm from Vietnam Net. And first, I would like to ask about the top five Q&A questions. Um, there might be a big problem for the two candidates who use the interpreter. And I would like to ask about how the organization um, have some new policy for the contestant who are not fluent in English and they have to use interpreter. Um, I see that there might be a big problem about the deliver uh, the answer of them, which made them to maybe have a little bit um, difficult to well deserve their answer. So how the organization uh, work on it? Uh, very thank you about it. And the second question is, um, there might be uh, there were some contestants who are not who were not joined um, the win submit competition before. And so I would like to ask that um, does it really impact their final placement in the finale? Very thank you about it. And once again, congratulations for an amazing show. 
and you met you very met Vietnamese people proud of you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Vietnamese, please. Uh, thank you for your question, um, and uh, I would like to say thank you for all the support of um, the audience and the media from Vietnam and from all over the world. I think that we couldn't make it today without your support. Um, um, and for the first question about the top five Q&A, um, and what, what, what do we think about, um, I mean, the interpreter during the Q&A rounds of Peru and Vietnam, I think. Um, it actually that like, uh, we have that interpreter working with um, the contestant during the closed door interview um, and I think that maybe the, the atmosphere of today is a little bit different um, but uh, we take it as a lesson that we learned from the first edition and uh, we promised that we would do better for the second edition um, I feel like um, for the closed door interview they have done better they have worked with the contestant and they know each other. So I think that uh, they get close to each other and familiar with each other. That's why I do believe that they, uh, they do understand um, the contestant well. But I think maybe in the, under the pressure of time, uh, that will be not deliver fully. But I think that they uh, have tried the best to deliver what the contestant said. Um, and I think that the more important is that um, the top two contestants they very well deserve to make it into the top two. We can see it in the debate. Um, for the second question um, about the participation for Queen Summit, I think any subsidiary uh, contest of, um, of, of Miss Cosmo, um, even though it's not compulsory, at what I said, um, it's not compulsory, it's optional. But I think um, to choose a winner would be a whole journey because um, the audience, the media, and especially the jury member will um, follow the journey of the, the whole contestant. Uh, as more as you have an opportunity to showcase your ability. For example, in the case of uh, Miss Thailand, I think that she done an amazing job in uh, the Miss Impact. So that's why I think that very impressed um, to the jury member and the other, uh, the media and the audience. Um, and that's what we see today, that they're very well-spoken person well spoken and they did an amazing job in the debate throughout. Um, congratulations again. We're so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Trong Vic Bảo Hoàng. The next question, please. From this side. Linda from Labio Magazine. Uh, first of all, maybe I will uh, congratulate the Miss Common Organization for uh, having successful night. And uh, uh, congratulations to uh, Tata and be more. Uh, uh, my question is, uh, I have two questions. Uh, first is for uh, CEO Bảo Hoàng. Uh, this is the, uh, what is the Miss Cosmo Organization going to show that the new queen is uh, the impactful beauty to the next years. And uh, the second question I want to ask Tata is that, uh, what is your plan to show that you are the impactful beauty to uh, everyone in the world in the next one years? Thank you. I think that um, if we choose a right winner, then uh, we'll see how she shared in her presentation for her action plan. It very details, it very specific. Um, she know what she want, what her advocacy is for environment. Um, and I'm very impressed with the way that Tata uh, present the idea that she will recycle and with a QR code for you to follow um, the life um, of what you've been recycled. And I think that um, as Miss Cosmo organization, we have resources to support for our um, Miss Cosmo, the winner of Miss Cosmo and the runner of Miss Cosmo to fulfill their duties and make what they have in the action plan to make and create real impact to the society. Um, for example, with what, what we have done with um, Miss Cosmo Vietnam, she have a um, social project of a will of share that based on her um, action plan that she shared on the final night of Miss Cosmo Vietnam last year, 
um, that you want to have for the homeless people, and it actually happened. So I think uh, that very important that you have a good idea, you have a good heart, uh, you are a, a well-spoken person, but most uh, importantly that you are eager to do it and turn it into action. And we can see that in Tata. Thank you. For the second question, um, I have explained in my debate regarding my action plans, but I'm not going to stop there. Me and Mukher are going to go to great lengths because from the bottom of our heart, we want to give back to the community, we want to give back to the people. Because without all of you, we wouldn't be here today. And I know we're in the right space with Miss Cosmo organization underneath Royal Group because throughout this whole time in our quarantine, we have been taught how our action can give such a huge impact on other people. So just stay tuned with us. Thank you. Thank you, Tata and Mr. Bellahan. The next question, please. From the center. Uh, good morning, uh, everyone. Uh, first, congratulations to Henry and Mr. Chan uh, for being able to uh, um, stage this pageant despite all the difficulties in the last week that you have experienced. My first question to you, gentlemen, is where is Miss Cosmo going from here? Where will be the next Miss Cosmo? Will there be a second Miss Cosmo? That's my first question. My question for the queens is you came to the pageant today or yesterday as Miss Indonesia and Miss Thailand but you're now sleeping as in the first Miss Cosmo how does it make you feel and do you think you did it Indonesia when, when? so that and third is what can this pageant do as an impact to the society and to the society of nations as a whole. And this is Tristan Francisco from the Philippine Pageantry. Um, as what I have explained, I'll thank you for your question. Uh, as what I have explained in um, a video clip showing today in the final show, we have a video clip showing the vision of Miss Cosmo um, and at what you have seen in the journey of Miss Cosmo first edition you can see our dedication um, our ambitions building a new brand a brand new beauty pageant coming from Vietnam and at the end of the video I would say see you at Miss Cosmo 2025 so um, we plan to have it annually and starting from here, I think uh, we have the first ever Miss Cosmo and first ever uh, runner up of Miss Cosmo, uh, which is not only beautiful, confident, inspiring, uh, but the one who eager to take action to the community. And I think that uh, not only the Miss Cosmo organization, now we have the Miss Cosmo family with Tata and Nook. Um, and I think that um, the way that we will continue our journey, we are not alone. We um, having the support of not only our resource internally, the support of people and um, audience all over the world. And I think with um, what we have in the action plan of the winner and runner, up, we will show the world what um, Miss Cosmo can contribute and to create real impact to the society. Um, so I think at, at what I share, um, your question is about what we can contribute to society as a whole, um, I think it, it better do than just sharing. So that's why we started today. So today, just is the beginning. And we are the first ever beauty pageant that have the winner and the runner up declare the action plan, what they're going to do in the whole tenure. I know it's very, I mean, dangerous because I have all of you keep following that action plan. So that is the pressure that we put on the shoulder of the winner and the runner, yes. and they're gonna do it. And um, so we're gonna make it happen, I, I, I believe, and I'm sure that we will do it. Thank you. Oh. 
Thank you. How do I feel? How do we feel, Mok? Excited. Excited? Great. <laughs> Sorry? No, not really. Henry just asked me a few seconds earlier, how do I feel? I said, I feel weird. <laughs> I don't know how I got here. But all I know is every girl that was in this competition, we worked really hard. Yeah. There is only two crowns, but we were all winners tonight. The girls who made it to the end, the girls who doesn't, we tried our best. And we it's a... Every day we just um, work together. Every day we explore new things together. It's such a sweet uh, memories, and I think we can build so much from that. Yeah. But back again, how I feel? Not only do I feel blessed and grateful, I feel there's a huge responsibility now. <laughs> yes, but I am. We are excited to make all of our action plans happen finally with the right space, with the right organization. So please just stay tuned with us, bear with us. We're gonna make it happen. We always make it happen. Yeah. Oh, message to Indonesia. I'll start with Selamat Pagi Indonesia. Terima kasih sudah support sejauh ini. Bangga sekali bisa mendeklarasikan Indonesia kita menang hari ini. Dan semoga kalian semua bisa terus support saya, Miss Cosmo Organization. Mok, Yayasan Putri Indonesia, Mustika Ratu TBK Karena kita pasti akan melakukan yang terbaik untuk Indonesia Terima kasih Indonesia we did it! Indonesia we did it! Yeay! So I believe that if they were strong enough to declare what they intend to do So they will have enough strength to make it into action Once again, all of us believe in you too in this Cosmo organization so, next question, please. You please. Hello, uh, Miss Cosmo organization. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, congratulations for the beautiful night. And uh, I have one question, but for, uh, um, yeah, for all the, the winner of Miss Cosmo and the runner of Miss Cosmo. Uh, when you guys um, winning the title of the first ever Miss Cosmo, there is a lot of angry response on the Miss Cosmo fan page. What do you gonna uh, What do you gonna tell them, the people that undervalue your uh, winning? Thank you. Thank you. Such a straightforward question. I don't think I have to tell them anything. I just have to show no. The, we had um, we had three weeks of quarantine where we are watched every day and being observed every day. If we didn't perform our best and try our best even though our legs are hurting, even though we want to sleep all day in bed and make up excuses, we wouldn't be here. And what I've learned from Miss Cosmo is we don't talk, we walk. Thank you. Yeah. Even in the press conference, right? Yeah. So, next question, please. Oh, look. Oh, look. So, first of all, I would just love to say that we all have our own battle, and I don't think it is grateful to uh, undervalue other people's story or battle that they have to be through. Like for example, um, for me, it is actually going to be my last um, competition as a pageant and the fact that I made it here as a runner-up, I'm so proud of myself and it is complete my chapter and I, I don't think that anybody can disgrace me for that, so thank you very much for the questions. Thank you, Mook. So you happy with these answers? For sure, <laughs> your smile show everything. So next question, please. Oh, Vietnamnet again? Okay, let's read Vietnamnet again. Sorry, Jessica, I'm a big fan of Miss Cosmos. I have lots of to ask. Um, um, I have one question for two queens and the organizing committee. Um, 
I would like to ask about how the organization and how our two queens promote the Miss Cosmo brand, um, not only in Asia, but also in the Latin America, or in, even though in Europe where the pageantry is not really um, related to that line, for example. So um, as a Vietnamese, I always want to promote this brand for even though in Latin America or in Europe. So what's your plan or what your action to promote uh, the Vietnamese brand and this Cosmo into the wider world, like worldwide. Yeah. Thank you so much. So you can a question. So how to promote? I think it's very straightforward. Be active and be a good ambassador. Like Tata say, walk, we walk the talk, we make it real, we make it happen, and then we prove it to the world that we actually have a purpose. We have to impact the beauty and we want to do it and we want to make it happen. Of course, it is our first year, it will always take some time, but with dedication, with a commitment, I think we can prove it to them. Thank you, I think that's a very uh, inter um, beautiful question because that's what I want to share. Because um, people all know that my efforts and de dedication of building the brand of Miss Cosmo. And first to promoting uh, Miss Cosmo as a brand and Vietnam uh, for the first edition at the homeland of Miss Cosmo. And that's why we put a lot of effort to bring in the candidate from the north to the south Vietnam with a lot of activity and make it like a, a beauty festival. So we don't just want it to be a beauty buying. We want a celebration of culture, of tourism, of cultural exchange. And I think those two girls have shown that they have the energy, the dedication, and um, they are the one that we're looking for, for the first ever tenure of Miss Cosmo. So I, I think that uh, what we're gonna do, they will show you. Uh, because we choose the people who walk the talk. Um, I think that the jury member did an am am amazing job um, through the closer interview, through the performance on stage, and observe the contestant during the rehearsal, how they focus, what energy they have, and um, the energy that they want to give to the world. And I think that those two will bring you and um, uplifting the brand of Miss Cosmo to the world. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Baha. As I told you, you are standing in our area. Hello there, this is Melvin Dorona from Global Beauties. And before I begin, I must say that uh, I will take on what Tata just said, is walk the talk. From the first day that I've been here, and I've been covering the delegates, I can say very confidently, the two girls that were really willing to do all the interviews, all the videos, was Thailand and Indonesia. It was a hot day and they were willing to work. And I think that is what Walking the Talking is. And uh, because of that, you all are truly deserving winners. I saw it from outside, I saw it on stage. So I'm so proud of both of you winning and being in the top two. It was fun to watch you all debate each other. And I must say also, that Walk the Talk doesn't just go for the Queens, it also goes for Mr. Henry, Mr. Huang. I've seen him even in a moment of crisis and Mr. Tony, they have just been very poised to be able to work in difficult situations and make the best things happen. So I have a very difficult question to ask all of you. Okay, so the first question is for the Queens. Now that you've finished the pageant, what is the one thing from Vietnam that you will eat every day? and the one thing that you would want to bring from your country to eat when you're working in Vietnam. <laughs> and Mr. Henry and Mr. Tony, since you all have worked very, very hard, I want to know that you'll probably need a holiday. What is the first thing you will do to have a break from all of this work? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Global Beauties. I do believe that they really want to share that. And now there's someone ask them that. <laughs> Um, I haven't thought about that, but now I, I think that I would choose either between Bali and, and Bangkok. Wow! wow. Come to Bali. So we have the homecoming, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Come to Bali. I love Bali. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, I love Bali too. <laughs> well, <laughs> what Vietnamese food would we eat every day, Mok? Noodles. Noodles? Always. Is that even a question? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all kinds. I know another one. But I wouldn't pick and choose. I would eat everything Vietnam has to offer. Because this time, this whole time, I've been learning about new flavors. I've been learning that you can cook fat pineapple with rice. Yeah. That, that was new to me. That was really new to me. And what food I would bring from my country to Vietnam? Probably from Bali to Vietnam, I would love to eat babi guling every day. Oh that is a um, uh, roasted pig with traditional sausage. spices. Oh. Yeah, and the sausages. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about you, Mok? Actually, from Thailand every day, I would love to have some papaya salad. The spicy, spicy one with the anchovy sauce. It's actually the dish from the my home region. So yeah, I really want to bring it to here, and I want all of our Vietnamese people to try it because it's amazing. You're gonna love it. <laughs> oh, for sure. Thank you very much. So thank you Mook and Tata for loving our Vietnamese cuisine. I know that everyone is really hungry now, but I have to say that if you have a chance, please try many kinds of Vietnamese food because these are the cultural pride of Vietnam. Yeah, they're different from the region to regions. So the next question please. Hi, my name is Adam Hinato. I'm from the Philippines. I'm a pageant vlogger from the Philippines. I, have, I, I would like to have a question for the queens. Uh, now that you both have the crowns, I actually asked this question a few days ago to Tata when I first arrived here. What do you think was her edge? Why you know she was ga gaining a lot of attention during the whole, the whole course of the pageant? And now that you have the crown, Tata, what do you think really made you stand out earlier? And same question goes to Mook. Since the mic is here, so I'll take the opportunity to answer first. I think it's about the energy. Like, I will woke up every morning and I was like, Good morning! <laughs> this this voice, exactly. So I think um, it's the energy that I'm willing to lift up everyone and yeah. That, that's it because like let's be honest I think all of the girls have the potential they are very smart they're very hardworking but um, characteristic it's very different from person to person so I think maybe I am the one that the organization looking for that's why I landed here and I'm so grateful for that okay I 101% agree with Mok um, We've talked about this a hundred times, huh, Mok? We said 58 amazing girls, intelligent girls, work hard every day, never late. How are they going to choose the winner? Because everyone is so stunning. Exactly. But tonight, maybe with a little luck and blessings from the higher ups, we made it to top two of Miss Cosmo. I, a million thank you will never be enough. But still, thank you. Going to your sophomore edition next year, and you always, uh, you have always been emphasizing that you are really looking for an impactful beauty. So for all the, for all the national directors or those countries who would like to win the next Miss Cosmo Crown, is it really important to send a girl who has been doing a lot of social project, social economic projects, just to live to its 
to your pageant's tagline of looking for an impactful beauty? So I think winning the title of Miss Cosmo um, is not just about like, you have done a lot of social projects. Um, but we, I mean like, based on what did you remember, make the scoring judgment, um, we look at the potential of the girl who can have, like what is that, the energy, the energy, the energy that wake up every day and she give to the other people. And if we see like Mook and Tata, they do live stream every single day with a lot of energy. Somehow we, I think that um, we can see that, okay, the, the schedule is very tiring and, and hectic. But those two girls have amazing energy and they have a lot of potential. They not only um, come here for just showing the skill or performance, they come here with a heart, with a passionate heart. And it's not just what they're saying, that energy that they inspire to see that, okay, that's the girl that we're looking for to work with us for the organization in the upcoming years. Yeah. 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 May I have your next questions? So you seem on happy with the another one? So the very last one, would, would you like to share? I'm willing to share with you. Okay, let me give you the microphone. Organization to spread word. I wonder, Sir Henry. Um, I know you repeated this over so many times in, in your initial press conference. But how much money will Tata be getting? Will she be staying here in Vietnam for her year-long reign? What career opportunities await Tata and even Mook, her runner-up, for the year-long journey of the inaugural winners of Miss Cosmo? Yeah. Can you share? <laughs> Um, I think that as what we have declared uh, in the press conference, the winner will um, receive um, a hundred thousand US dollar in cash. Um, that's a management contract with Unimedia company. Um, she will have uh, her own accommodation um, and her own luxury car during her tenure in Vietnam and um, travel around the world at the title of Miss Cosmo, promoting the brand Miss Cosmo to the world. Um, and together with Miss Cosmo in the run-up, we also have her in Vietnam. I think that uh, we all love this. Vietnamese people will love the two amazing women, um, the energy that we bring, they can bring to Vietnam. And I can see that um, not only um, beautiful with great performance skill, uh, Tade is a very good singer too. Yeah, and, and Mook, you can you can do rap, right? Oh no no no! no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can sing a little bit. Yeah. I, I, can, I think I'm good. Yeah. Ah, I see we have a girl band here. Can we hear a little bit of your song? Oh, my song. Any song. Any song. That song that's your winning song for now. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, of course, of course. Look, would you care to sing with me? Yeah. Oh, can we have another microphone? Let me transfer this one to the This one for myself? That a debut song. Let's see the Cosmo Band. Let's see our debut. What shall we sing? You decide. Any, I'm just gonna tag along. Please. Okay. <laughs> huh. This is actually Miss Vietnam's favorite song. It's by Bruno Mars. I'll start. I'll start a little bit, okay guys. If the world was ending, I wanna be nice to you. If the party was over and our time on earth was through. <laughs> Thank you! Oh my god, let's give That's it up right. for the cosmos. <laughs> Amazing Tata and Mook. And so we have the very last question from this reporter. <coughs> <laughs> yeah.
Dạ thì em xin được phép hỏi anh Bảo Hoàng Thì là trong cái quá trình tổ chức đó, thì mình xảy ra một số sự cố về sân khấu Và cũng như là mình phải dàn dựng hai đêm bán kết và chung kết trong một cái thời gian tức tốc Thì mà về về ban tổ chức mình thì có gặp những cái khó khăn và thử thách như thế nào ạ? Thì mình có phải là tốn nhiều cái chi phí để mà mình phải uh, xây dựng là mình phải làm lại cái sân khấu mà Với lại cái câu hỏi thứ hai của em là Uh, xây quanh cuộc thi thì cũng có những cái tranh cãi và mâu thuẫn về cái chuyện mà đội ngũ mất cấp thì ban tổ chức của mình đã xử lý cái vấn đề đó như thế nào ạ? À? Um, the question, the first question is about like during the journey of Miss Cosmo that we have to face a lot of obstacle, a lot of um, things that happen along the way um, and uh, the question is about how we have to deal with that and um, the, the, like um, how much we have spent <laughs> uh, for that uh, competition and, and uh, to face that obstacle I think um, actually doing like organizing any beauty pageants be a challenging thing um, It's not just that season. Uh, it's not like that Edison's um, before that we organized Miss Cosmo Vietnam, Miss Universe Vietnam. We also faced a lot of obstacle before. So we have the experience facing those kinds of obstacle. That time we're a little bit different because that's the first ever Miss Cosmo. And um, the thing that happened, everybody knows. That's why we have everybody love and support. And I think that makes the difference. We have a lot of support of the supporter from Vietnam, of the supporter from around the world. They observe the journey, cheering we up, and uh, we got a lot of energy from the audience. Um, I can see they live stream the process of making that stage. That's the first ever, <laughs> first time ever I seen like the live stream of, of people. They, they live at that apartment. They do live stream every day, yeah. and they got thousand view every day, yeah. So I, 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 I dropped that, uh, I don't need to come to the state to see the processing. <laughs> so I think um, we, we will not talk about the money. Uh, of course we spend a lot. I'm sorry, I haven't had time to count. You want to share? No. <laughs> um, and the second question is uh, regarding to um, our makeup team and what happened along the way. I think um, we are mentioned about what happened in uh, Ninbin, yeah. During the, some live stream and we saw a conversation behind the stage. Um, I think the first, the first um, times I hear about that is during a phone call from the leader, the makeup artist, calling me and saying sorry. Uh, at that time I was at uh, um, another event and I did not know that happened. But he said sorry <coughs> and um, I have on the phone with uh, the makeup artist and she feel very sorry for that. And um, I try, I, I, I was at the event with Miss Idia at that moment and I come to talk to her uh, genuinely. And I think that Miss Idia is very, I mean, um, compassion with that situation. She understand what happened. So I think uh, we feel very sorry. But um, for Vietnam, I, I have to say that I also want to say thank you to the clan team. They did an amazing job. And I don't want just um, a thing that could ruin the whole um, effort of the whole team. So I talked to the teams that um, maybe give her another chance next season. Um, but for this season, um, we feel sorry for what happened and we take responsibility for that. So that's the way we work. We take responsibility for everything that happened and we take lessons to do it better next year. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chung Tae Tho Hoang, for sharing about your pressure and this obstacle. And as we have witnessed, everyone, that despite many obstacles and struggle, Miss Cosmo organization has made a miracle, which I call Cosmo Miracle, bring it a successful grand finale night for audiences all around the world. And I know that even though we have many comments, but I do believe that If you didn't love and believe in Miss Cosmo organization, you wouldn't be here at 1 a.m., right? So please clap your hand for all the, for all of us. Amazing Miss Cosmo 2024. 
Yeah, and once again, thank you for attending the press conference after the crowning moment. Thank you so much. Thank you. And see you again. We lo would love to see you again on the International Reporters. Vietnam always welcome you. For more videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media. Thank you for watching.